This is Dominic. Dominic works at a five-star restaurant called the Pixel Palace. There, some of video games' most popular characters come in to have a drink. Sometimes, they share stories and even secrets. For as we all know, what the bartender hears is confidential, isn't it? So I'm sitting there tending bar when in walks an old friend of mine, Bonk. Now Bonk is a little fella and needless to say we did have to stack a few stools on top of each other for him to reach the bar, but he got there okay. And I looked at him and he looked kinda sad and I said, hey Bonk, what's wrong? And he says, well, just trouble at home, you know. And I asked, I said, well, anyone in particular? And he said, yeah, my wife. My wife, she's, she's been giving me real trouble. And I said, oh really? Well, What's been going on? And he said, well, she's just been bonking everybody. And I said, excuse me. And he said, she's just been bonking everybody. And I said, oh, well, that, that is a problem. How many people has she been bonking? And he says, oh, it's just too many to count. I mean, it's basically people she doesn't like. And I said, really? She, she's bonking people she doesn't like? And he said, yeah. And I said, Think there's some sort of weird psychological issue there? He says, no, 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 that makes complete sense to me. It's not that complicated. If she doesn't like the person, she bonks him. And I said, well, sounds complicated to me, but whatever, not my affair. So I said, this, this bonking around, this, this disturbs you. He said, not at first, but she just been bonking too many people. I mean, it's got to be giving her a headache after a while. And I said, giving her a headache? What about you? You must have a, a migraine over this. And he said, well, wasn't too bad at first, but now it's just getting a little annoying. Especially when she started doing the animals. I said, she started bonking animals. And I said, oh yeah, dinosaurs mostly. We mostly live around dinosaurs. And I said, so your wife's been bonking people and dinosaurs? And he said, yeah. And I said, little dinosaurs or big ones? Oh, no, 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 real big ones. It's impressive how many big dinosaurs she can bonk. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And I said, oh no, I can barely get my head around it myself. Um, you mean like T-Rexes and stuff like that? And he says, oh yeah, she'll bonk the lot. And I asked, doesn't that hurt her? And he said, well, the harder ones, yeah, but the really soft ones, the ones that are much softer skin, that's, that's not as big a problem. And I said, yeah, but yikes. So I said, have you, have you thought about going to, to couples counseling? And he said, I could, but you know, when you get down to it, I've bonked just as many people. And I said, really? And he said, yeah. And I said, dinosaurs too? And he says, oh yeah, giant ones, great big ones. You have no idea how hard it is to get up there. And I said, well, oh, I can imagine, I can imagine. So you're both bonking people and dinosaurs at the same time. And he says, yeah, at first I didn't have a problem with it, but I think it's just getting out of hand. He looks at me and says, and, I don't want to blow my own horn, but... I give great head. And I said, okay, stop it, stop it! I slam them like nobody's business. I mean, I slam them hard. They're barely able to open their eyes after I'm done with them. I said, okay, TMI, TMI. And so I decided to pry, probably where I shouldn't pry, but Lord knows he already has. And I said, well, how often do you two bonk? And he says, I told you all the time. I said, no, no, together. He says, what? You mean the two of us bonk each other? And I said, yeah. And he says, well, never. Are we supposed to? And I said, well, that is one of the perks of being in a relationship. I mean, what's the point of bonking other people if you're not going to bonk each other? And he says, well, I'll give that a thought. But Lord knows, I don't want her bonking other people when it's not needed. And I said, you, you've bonked other people when it's needed. And he says, yeah, only when it's needed. Thou shalt not bonk unless needed. I think that's the 11th commandment. If I feel somebody is not worth a bonk, I will not bonk them. And I said, well, that's very kind of you, I guess. He said, I'll go bonk you real good. I said, okay, okay, don't go there. All right, just don't. He says, I can give you a head like nobody's business. I said, okay, do not go there, okay? You do not want to cross this line. He said, okay, okay, but needless to say, you would be out like a light. I said, thanks, thanks, I, I believe you. So I just flat out asked, I said, well, have you thought about talking to her? He says, well, a cat now. I said, why not? He says, she's given herself a concussion. She's in the hospital right now. 
They don't know when she's gonna wake up. And I said, oh, I, now the bonk, I, I get it now, I get it now. Okay, now we're on the same page, and I'm so sorry about that. He said it was really hard seeing her in the bed, just sleeping, unable to communicate. So she practically looked like an angel, absolutely beautiful. I said, well, Mr. Bonk, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry to hear all that. And he says, well, needless to say, once she wakes up, I am probably going to divorce her. And I said, divorce her, why? And he says, haven't you been listening? She fucks everything that walks! You see a lot of strange things as a bartender. You see a lot of strange things at the Pixel Palace. So, I see a lot of strange things as a bartender at the Pixel Palace. And that ain't no lie. So wait a minute.